Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Academy and in this video we will learn how to measure the area of land using Google Earth. Google Earth is quite handy application and it can give you a pretty much accurate area uh, though it is not very good with the elevation so uh, as you can see over here that the elevation it is showing is 207 meters uh, but uh, these elevations might vary uh, you know to few meters like 5-10 meters if you go to the hilly areas uh, for Tarai or flatlands it uh, is quite accurate but for the uh, hills uh, this is not quite accurate however the flat area that we calculate is uh, pretty much accurate so uh, sometimes we can use this area to get the area of the land and you can use this area for the valuation purpose as well so there will be only a little bit of variation and there won't be much of the variation now let us see how we can do that so uh, over here if you see uh, you got uh, different tools of google earth and if you go to this tool this polygon uh, shape tool and if you left click on it so uh, it says untitled polygon if you want to save this polygon you can name this uh, uh, you know area uh, let us uh, name this as a land area and you can skip this as well land area if you don't want to save the area and what you can do is that now you can uh, pinpoint the area so first uh, first point that you need to click is uh, any corner of this land uh, let me start from here so i'll just left click at this position and after that i'll left click on this position okay so i need to cover this entire area so after that i'll left click on this position so uh, over here i'm just finding the area of this uh, you know uh, this uh, land that is not covered with grass at all so i'll again uh, go up to this and after that i'll go here you can see that our area is getting covered so uh, first uh, just get the rough outline of the area and after that uh, click here and uh, next one was somewhere here okay it was here and after that here all right and after that uh, here okay uh, and after that go to this style and color tab and uh, so what color you need the outline uh, so white doesn't matter so area color so let me change the color of this area i'll use the yellow and click on ok you can see the color has been changed now let me change the opacity uh, opacity to 30 percent okay i'll uh, further decrease the opacity to 10 percent and uh, okay now i need to refine this uh, measurement so you can see that this is a little bit uh, covered on the other side as you can see that this uh, plot has been highly scaled uh, this total land is fitting into your screen uh, so which means that uh, even if slightest change uh, you know to few millimeters or centimeters there will be a huge change in the area so you need to be very much careful okay so let me go here uh, for you know taking these measurements in google earth so here okay so i'll just get here and uh, if i need to define a point here just uh, left click on it and uh, click here so you'll get a point like this okay all right so all right so this is it uh pretty much accurate right so now uh, after doing your you know after overlapping this area uh, our you know marker uh, just go to the measurements tab over here and here you can see that the perimeter the perimeter is in miles so if you want the perimeter in meters you can get it the entire perimeter is 416 meters and the area you can find it in square feet and you can change the units so if you want in square meters so this is 6.288 square meters and if you want it in hectares you can get the area in hectares so guys we have found the area of this much of land uh, this is how you do it suppose that you want the length of uh, any uh, portion suppose that you want the length of the road from this point to this point uh, you can use the google earth uh, for this same work so what do you have to do you have to use this option so add path option uh, left click on it and you can name the path and uh, left click here and after that uh, left click here uh, or if you want uh, or if you want a more accurate length then or if you want a more accurate uh, 
uh, result so what you have to do you have to define a point like this uh, you have to again define some intermediate points so left click here and click here right so you can just do like this and again if you go to the measurements tab so it's uh, 205 meters so this uh, this measurement will be pretty much accurate all right guys so this is how you do it hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and take care